Hi guys, my name's Bill, and what I want to do is give you my version of what a neutral is in, in, your, in your house. So, I'm talking residential, single phase, you have a pull out at the street that has a transformer on it, it sends three wires over to your house, which run to your main panel. That's what this coil of, of writing is right here, this is representing the secondary windings of the transformer that's added to pull. And those three wires run to your main panel. That's your L1, your neutral, and your L2. If you measure across L1 and L2, you're going to get 240 volts. If you measure from neutral to L2 or neutral to L1, you're going to get 120 on either one of those. So what does the neutral do? Now the neutral is not a ground. It's two completely different things. The ground in your system Basically, if you have a lightning strike at the, at the lines outside or your house, it's to provide a path for the voltage to go to the earth so it doesn't blow up your TV or your appliances or whatever you got in your house. So that, that's the main job of the ground. It has nothing to do with voltage. The transformer is what controls all the voltage. So let's say on your, on your A phase or your L1, you have a total of 5 amps of draw. And on your L2, from neutral, you have 7 amps of draw. That's a combination of lights and, you know, whatever else you have running in your house. Now, a lot of people say the neutral balances the load. Not really. What it actually does is it provides a path back to the transformer for the unbalanced portion of the load. So, you have 5 amps here and 7 here. That's a difference of 2. So, basically, 2 amps of current is going to run through the neutral back to the transformer. And that, that's my version of what a neutral does. If I'm wrong, feel free to correct me in the comments. Or if you have a different version, you know, let me know. Thanks for watching.